Hi, this is Kevin from Let Me Tech You. In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Terraform graph and how this can help in very complex environments to help you kind of visualize what resources are dependent on other resources and just kind of give you like an overall arching overview of your Terraform code. So the Terraform graph, what that is, is just a way for you to output a formatted um, visualization a visual representation of your configuration and to do this you can get a a, a representation of the um, plan and also what's going to be destroyed so it kind of lets you see what's what resources are dependent on what um, it could also be for if you're trying to maybe make changes to code that you weren't familiar with or you didn't write so it kind of gives you an idea on like okay this is dependent on this resource so I I change this this will be affected so on and so forth so um, first um, before we get started what I do want to um, you know if you haven't before you can um, go over to my YouTube page here and I have some different videos on let me bring it up terraform so if you're new to terraform I actually created a little a quick series on Bring it up here playlist so I got a learning terraform for beginners and then there's some other terraform videos for various things there and then also you can also go to letmetechu.com and then see some of the different um, uh, tasks and things I've done for various things using terraform with a Azure and AWS so what I'm gonna do is gonna get started here I have a simple environment here that I've created um, using Visual Studio Code and so I have my main.tf file which this is my um, provider blocks um, my Terraform um, provider and then the required providers for AWS I got my route tables so all my route table associations um, subnets things like that and then I have my VPC that's going to get created in the different availability zones. So with that, what I could essentially do is, before I even run this, as you're gonna see, I can do a Terraform show, and I don't have anything. So, you know, if you look at my state file, it's empty. But I can do a Terraform graph, and the type is going to equal plan so we want to see what the plan is going to look like so what I can do is this so as you can see this outputs it in like um, it's called a dot format but uh, what we're getting is just basically a bunch of text that doesn't really mean much unless you kind of just read through and kind of see like what's pointing towards what but there's an easier way to kind of go about this and what you can do is you can take this output here copy it and if you just go to Google and just type in uh, graph viz graph viz web and then this graph viz online here you can essentially take all this out and then just paste what we have in there and that's not gonna look right so let me take this part up here and took too much out so I just want that okay there we go so let's do this oh, okay there we go I had a Z in there okay there we go so as you can see we got our root and then the provider um, let me just say this so then we got the provider and then as you can see we got our AWS table, route table association, private AS, and these are all inside of my code as well. So as you can see, AWS route table association dot private AS, somewhere in here you should be able to see that. So let's see, AWS route table association. So you can see the various things, but see as you're building things out in Terraform, it can kind of get hard to understand 
where some things are being utilized at. So this just kind of makes it easier to kind of walk down the train and see what's, you know, depending on what. So you should never have anything that's kind of going up, um, you know, from here. You shouldn't have an arrow that goes here, then up here, or here, then up here. So everything should be kind of trickling down. So you can see the arrow here. It's dependent on that. This is dependent on this subnet, this private subnet. This private subnet is dependent on the data dot AWS availability zones dot available, AWS underscore VPC. So then you get down to your provider, which it shows as HashiCorp AWS. Now, so what I could do is I can go ahead and apply this. And when I apply this here, I'm going to do a Terraform apply. Now, typically in a uh, production environment, you would do a Terraform plan, see, make sure everything's good. And then we'll do a Terraform apply. And then I'm going to do auto approve since I already know this is what I want. Okay, and then once those resources get generated, now we have everything inside our state file. We have everything created according to this plan, um, to this graph. And if you want, you could also download this and it's going to save it as an SVG file and then you can store it and save it for later, make some notes, stuff like that. So now that we got that set up, I'm actually going to show you um, what it will look like when you're going to go ahead and destroy your resources. So I'm going to take this same site, open it up in a new tab. And it's not wanting to come up. So let's go ahead and do graph phase web again. Okay. So as you can see, root, provider, AWS route table association. If I go back here, I'm going to clear some of this up. I'm going to do a Terraform uh, graph and then type is going to equal plan destroy. Oop, I forgot my So now we're going to take this, let's come up a little, make sure we don't get too much. So we're going to take all this from here down to the last curly brace, copy that, and then I'm going to come in here and paste this in there. And as you'll see, so if you notice what's different here, so let me put these side by side. I can here probably not going to be the easiest but as you can see that they're upside down so the order in which it's going to be destroyed is like this here so root top down all the way up down to uh, to the top here so he's basically just in reverse so this is applied and this is going to be deleted so that's just a good way of kind of visualizing also how it um, how it's going to play out once it gets destroyed and just kind of gives you an idea again what dependencies um, every what's being depended on by the different resources in the resource blocks. So that's really it. Um, not really much to it. Just a nice little feature you can utilize to um, keep up to date with your environment and also uh, look at very complex um, environments when you're looking to make changes to say a certain resource block uh, or you know just a certain part of a module or anything you're working with it doesn't even have to be AWS so what I'm gonna do is uh, basically um, put this uh, on YouTube here well it's obviously it's on YouTube you're listening to it but I'm gonna also write up a little document on how this kind of works um, put it down in the uh, description there down below. If you have any questions in regards to the video, please uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'll definitely try to get back with you. Again, thanks for tuning into this video and hope to see you next time.